Welcome back to Deus Ex Invisible War. We've just entered Heron's Loft Apartments. And I'm going to follow up on the quest of getting Sid Black's jet back from Sophia Sock. Uh, we need to pay their debt or defeat Sock and her security force. Probably the latter, because I want to hold on to my money. And just a reminder from last time, we actually have kind of two people that are offering to transport us from area to area with their helicopters. Or actually, I guess Sid Black has a jet, and the other person has a helicopter. Uh, Ava Johnson, that's their helicopter. I don't know if those are going to allow us to go to like, different places. Helicopter versus a jet. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we have two people offering to fly us places. And Sid Black is the one that I really don't like. They're an absolute prick. But I want to do it anyway, just to, you know, get stuff and have a fun adventure. So doing Sid Black first, just because we happen to be here. Advertisement for the Munch Bar. Are this, they're just holding a Munch Bar. Yeah, so we went... There's two entrances to Heron's Loft Apartment that I found. This is the maintenance entrance, so I guess we're kind of going in the side door. Oh, yeah. That's right, you can open these. There's got to be some good stuff in here. What's that? It's a Munch Bar! Actually, is this Monty Bites candy bar? Is that the same as a munch bar? I don't know. Maybe. Hello, friend. Whoa. Not such a good apartment building, huh? Ooh. Ooh. Stuff. Oh, I gotta make room for the multi-tool. I've already got ten of them, though. Still. Can always have more. Remember, some things, if there's super high security, I actually required three multi-tools to unlock. So I could burn through these super fast if I find high security things. Um, I'll just eat the candy bars. Okay, I could go into here, but there was also a ladder back outside. Eh, let's go this way. Whoa. Is that a cat? It's completely frozen. Whoa! There's a bunch of cats! Um... They're probably not gonna be happy to see me, right? Right? See, this is where I wish for something like in Mankind Divided. In Days X Mankind Divided, it specifically shows you on a minimap which areas are restricted and which ones aren't. So you know exactly, like, if somebody sees you, they're gonna freak out. Or if it's not restricted, it's fine. Oh! Oh, shit! Wow, that hurt. Oh, damage over time. Uh, I guess I'll shoot it with a train start? You can see the health bar going down. <laughs> it's not lethal though, remember. There we go. Oh. Oh god! That's a grenade, I think. Or a spider pot? Shit, shit. Why am I so slow? Why am I climbing so slow? What the hell? Uh. Something wrong with my character? Ooh, I'm actually super low on ammo. 
That should do the job, though. I just gotta wait a second. Maybe? Okay, it's not really doing the job. Oh, it's an enemy bot. Um, alright. I'm sorry, little guy. Okay, that should do it. Oh, don't fall too hard. Okay, don't want to get dead. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh. What the f What am I seeing? Is that cat in the wall? What the hell? I don't know what is happening. Are these cats alive? Kitty? Um... They're... Were they being fed to the creature? Oh shit, there's one in there. They were. Oh no. I thought they were alive because they showed up here, but I guess it's just because they're organic. They're stuck in some we- oh! They're stuck in some weird poses though. Oh, the thug is actually dead. Maybe because I, I just accidentally threw them into the poison? Crap. Oh well. <laughs> well, that was a mess. Greasel care. That'd be the thing that I was spitting at me. At least one whole cat per day. Live cats are the best. If you must use a dead cat, warm it up in the microwave first, then wiggle it around for the feeding. Never feed your Greasel table food. It encourages bad habits. Make sure your pet has fresh water every day. Those poor cats. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to throw them all the way down. Resale Trainer's apartment. Ah. I desperately need ammo. Thank you. Did that do anything? I don't know. It's just a, yeah, that's the front door. Okay, there's no one else in here. Detective Dirk Murchison, the Jet City Murders. I knew she was in trouble the moment she walked into my office. She was the kind of woman who never went to Lower Seattle without a pair of sentinels on a leash. Yet here she was in my doormat, brain soaked, alone, and vulnerable. So why was I afraid? He was some WTO hotshot. That's how she started. He ruled the New Seattle Society and had the SSC in his hip pocket. The only way she could find a detective brave enough to go on after him was by heading down the inclinator into my office. Was... Was... Wait, I think it's supposed to be I. Was it brave enough? I think it's supposed to say was I brave enough or stupid enough? Didn't matter to me. I would have done anything for a curve like her. That and the bill collectors had drained the last of my credits. She was afraid he was going to rub her, rub her out? I'm sorry, I can't read that non-sexually. She was afraid he was going to rub her out, try and lay his, ha lay, uh, his hands on her family fortune. He had a mistress somewhere on the platform above, and she was in on the plot. Then there was his bodyguard, Barry the Juice. After the last time I crossed him, I knew even a hollow male from him would try to strangle me. Getting involved in all this was a bad idea, but hell, bad ideas are my job. Bury the juice. This is the saddest damn apartment. Shitty, schlocky novel. A terrible ancient TV. Like, this is a CRT TV? Th those still exist in the future? The hell? And then just a bunch of dead cats and a greasel. Let's see what's in the rest of the apartment. Or uh, apartment complex, I mean. They just left their door unlocked? 
That landing Whoa. pad is run by a local smuggler, Sophia Sack. Looks like they seized Sidlock's Harrier, probably as payment for phony debts. It never hurts to have a pilot who owes you a favor. You could pay the debt, or better, eliminate Sack and her henchmen for the good of the whole neighborhood. Sounds good to me. So, are there only two apartments inside of Heron's Loft? Or what? No, there must be more. This is just what's on the second floor, right? Guess I'll just barge my way in. Whoa, hey, this is my apartment. Quickwake's manager. I guess I took a wrong turn somewhere. Who sent you? It was that Pequod's jerk, wasn't it? <laughs> he isn't satisfied that he already has the zoning lockdown for all of Upper Seattle and can keep me out. He has to play like a mafia don and send people to harass me. Well, I won't be intimidated. I won't. I didn't come here looking for a fight. If he wants to peddle his overpriced Pequachinos down here, let him. But I deserve a shot at those babyface executives uptown. What I need is a hacker. Someone to break into the civic manager's computer at the WTO terminal and approve my zoning petition. Business is good down here. I've got money and I want to expand. Sounds like a risky operation, but I take it you can afford to hire a few thugs of your own. Well, I'd make it worth a certain someone's while, that's for sure. Why do you ask? Know anything about government databases? Maybe I'll check back with you later tonight. Hell yeah, I'll take that job. Coffee wars, hack zoning. Well, since I'm already here, you won't mind if I just loot your place, right? Our love affair with the bean. I already read that too. Along with coffee science. What is... Oh, right. Concrete trash can. On liberty. Meh. I don't feel like reading that. Binoculars. That's the same as this thing, right? Yeah. State your business. Just going for a walk. You scoping the place? Working for Sid Black, maybe? I've seen him around. He owes Miss Sack some money. We're keeping his jet until he pays up. Last thing we need is some stranger casing the landing pad. Can I talk to Miss Sack? What for? Maybe I can settle things on Mr. Black's behalf. You better not be feeding me a line. You wouldn't fall for something like that. I guess you're right. Through this door, take the hallway to the elevator at the other end. It's busted, so you'll have to climb the ladder in the shaft to the top floor. Miss Sack's office is up there. And remember, stay off the landing pad. Got it. Miss Sack's in the office by the landing pad, so that she can keep an eye on her property. This dialogue is so bad. I love it. Woo. Dumpster fire, literally. Let's see what that oh it catches on fire. That's a cool little detail. Oh, lower scale slums. No. You better not be pulling my leg. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, no, 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 no. They said I want I... to talk to Miss Sack. Fine, but no snooping around. I, I kind of missed what they said to get in, though. Like, I thought I was just allowed in. I'm here to make sure you deal straight with Miss Sack. Can I not just go in? You just said stay off the helipad. Oh, ATM. They expect you to use force in a situation like this. I just got 600 credits from that? Oh my god. Stop casing the place. They yelled at me, but they didn't do anything. I've got my eye on you. Maybe I am supposed to go this way? Hmm. Alternatively, I'm here to make sure you deal. Uh, 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 got hit. Got to do something. Uh, 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 that's it. Uh, uh, ooh, 
Wow, point blank shotgun. Yeah, by the landing pad, which is over here, right? How else do we get to the office? You better not be pulling my leg. I'm so confused. I, I really feel like I should just take him out. say acid. It's not acid. They're unconscious. Like, I'm not dissolving them or something. Anyway, we're good now. I desperately need that ammo. got a really high axe skill. I think it's maxed, isn't it? Hallway security cam off. Sacks off security cam off. Landing pad turret off. Uh, wait. Did something like disappear from the list or what happened? It rearranged itself. Hm. Well, let's take a look at the cameras. I think this is up on the third floor? Probably. Where's the broken elevator? If the elevator's broken, how do they get up and down? Are they just is everybody just stuck on their floor? I'll make it care, idiot. There they are. Yeah, so there's at least two other guards plus Sack. I wonder if they're gonna know that I'm that I'm uh, you know, a bad person that took out their guard. Based on past experience, they probably are going to magically know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, they know. Whoa. Wait, 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 it's shooting them? I thought I turned it off. Okay, something very weird happened. Uh, I went to reload my save game, and for some reason it was just gone? My last save was from when I first started this episode at the very beginning of Heron's Loft. So, yeah, a little bit strange. I have no idea what happened, but I'm doing more hard saves now instead of quick saves. However, when I came back in here, I handled this situation in the, uh, the Greasel Trainer's apartment a little bit better, and it looks like there are actually some cats inside of there that are still alive. Hey! Oh, God! God, they look so ugly. I love them anyway, though. Meow, meow. I want to break that. Uh, don't wanna accidentally kill a cat, though. There we go. Woo! You're fine. You're fine. And they're unconscious instead of dead this time. I'm just curious, can I break a window with a human? They're not going to be unconscious for long. Hmm. It's not looking so good. They're still alive, by the way, don't worry. Humans just don't weigh enough, apparently. Or they're not sharp enough. Too soft. Ooh. Poison. Oh well. So yeah, let's try doing this whole thing a different way. <laughs> Why is it so hard to get out a window? <laughs> Please. I have to be crouching because I'm too tall otherwise. If I crouch, uh, there we go. Yeah, so is there a way to get to the third floor up there? Because then I could maybe speak with that, with uh, Zack without having any problems. Doesn't look like it though. Uh, I can't really get on the pipes, I don't think. Hmm. 
How are you supposed to get up to that floor? Well, let me go speak to the Pequod's person. Or Queequeg person who's wants me to take care of Queequeg. Queequeg? Que oh, God. These names are just so weird that I don't even know if I'm even saying names anymore. Queequeg. Pequod's. I don't understand this game at all. After the weird safe problem, now every time I run out here to the guard, I thought it would initiate the conversation again, right? Since I've in this save, I've never met them. However, they try to kill me on contact, on sight. I tried it twice. I, why is it different? I don't know, but I'm gonna flash bomb them. <laughs> Puts on a nice show at the end there. You know what? You are trash. And I put them, I want to note, I put them into the side that's not burning. They're alive. They'll be nice and toasty and warm. Okay, so this menu is really confusing, but I think these, yeah, these three controls here must all be referring to the same turret. The landing pad turret is set to hostile, which I think why this menu changed before is I set it to something other than hostile, which changed this name from hostile landing pad turret to something landing pad turret. So I think I just want to turn it off, and then it shouldn't shoot anybody. Right? Wait. Why is it upside down? The huh? Is this game okay? I feel like something's deeply wrong with the game. <laughs> I'm gonna keep making hard saves. Yeah, so the guard in there will see me. There's one, two guards, two guards there, some random person down there. Oh, I think that's the coffee person. Hangar entrance. Um, see, I want to take all these people out, like, non-lethally, but the problem is I'm extremely low on ammo. I don't think I can take them all out non-lethally. I could go for full stealth and maybe just not take them out. I think I have to, though. I think I have to take out all the security people if I want Sid to get their helicopter back, either that or pay them off. And paying them off seems kind of out of the question at this point. Um, hmm. That sounded a little suspicious. Okay, that's enough. Wow, my footsteps really make a lot of noise, don't they? You're in for it now. Uh, ah, some kind of toxin. Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, Watch out! I oh, pulled the pin! Oh, oh god! Oh! Oh lord! Yeah! Move uh, in! I should take him out. Oh, uh, uh, yes! <laughs> there we go. Come on! That's it! <laughs> Okay, how are we doing? Anybody else coming? No, they didn't hear the screaming. All right, there goes pretty much all our biopower. 
Uh, oh, right, but these this restores you fully. Yes. Let's take a med kit, too. The good thing is they drop ammo, so I might be okay? I'm gonna need a lot more ammo than that, though. Um, I think I actually want that flash bomb. Let's drop, um... Yeah, I got a shotgun. Oh, right, and I have this useless bolt caster. I'm gonna drop that, too. That's the old bolt caster. The one with the wrong mods on it. A little bit of ammo. Still not much, though. I really desperately need ammo. Is there a way to make the bull caster do more damage? Like, is that a mod to just increase damage? I mean, I know I can't modify this one anymore because it's already got these on it, but... Shots per ammo clip. Nope. Um... Radius damage. Like, uh, that... I don't even know what that would do, that... It's supposed to be non-lethal, that doesn't sound good. Ah, there is an increased damage. Hmm. And the number of shots per ammo clip, so that would make it consume less ammo. Okay, I think I actually want another bolt caster. Yeah, I think I want a separate bolt caster that has increased damage and ammo scavenger. It'd make it more efficient, so it wouldn't be like it wouldn't be able to shoot glass like my current one without setting off alarms, and it wouldn't be silenced. But I don't know if a silencer is even really important. Like they heard me just crouching down and walking around, so like who cares? I think these are more important. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep the next blank bolt caster that I find. <laughs> For a second, I was like, "Hey, there's a bolt caster." Yeah, that's the one I just dropped. I want to break that window. Oh wow, okay, this should do it. A lot of noise for wants to hide. This is really not working too well. There we go. Hey, I'm the authority here. Yeah, the problem with that, I don't have any ammo. I have like one shot left in this thing. That's not gonna take anybody out. We gotta do something. Uh oh. Oh, got hit. No, 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 no. Shit. Oh, this is not good. That's not the turret. That wait, 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 wait. What? I turned the turret off. That doesn't make any sense. What? I I'm gonna have to turn the turret on. Why is it on now? You have been identified as a threat. Access denied. Stay sharp. This isn't over yet. There we go. Can't go non-lethal anymore. I guess the alarm turned it back on. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, we're good now. Whew. The ammo is like totally gray, just like the floor. You gotta really hunt for it. So is that everybody or is there like one security guard left? You didn't drop ammo. Inclinator is gatekeeper. I already read that one too. What's this one control? Um, 
Oh, the same things. Yeah, it looks like that's the whole security force. Ooh. Okay, I don't know if I won in that one. Just a bunch of beer. Uh, some credits. Oh, it's not even locked. isn't it? Oh no, it's a refire rate mod. Hmm. Login for SAC systems. I'm going to be fired from this assignment and from SSC entirely if I accidentally set off the security alarms again. It's going to end just like Pittsburgh. I've got to be more careful about keeping track of this code. Good job <laughs> keeping track of that code. The Blood of the Champion. This one's new. What is a game to most is a way of life to him. Everyone knows who he is. Every young athlete mimics his signature stare after a score. He has earned the largest endorsement contracts of any professional player who has ever lived. Each of us has watched the hollow sims of his extraordinary games, marveling at what the human body is capable of. So is it possible that Jerry Wildman, or Wildman, the man who captured the hearts of the world, could be returning to the league. WTO, WTO spokesmen are revealing that the former star of the corporate team has regretted his retirement and is planning an intensive program of training and nanotherapy to prepare for a return to the field. League rules are still unclear on the management of nano augmentation among players, but the return of Wildman may force the issue. Rumors abound that he is a candidate for Biezo Chem Augmentation, and if true, his fading physicality will be rejuvenated, while his mind for the game has never been sharper. Next season will be an interesting one, and I recommend you purchase the entire season viewing package. I know I will. One of these days, there's going to be something below one of these pillows. That day is not today. Probably don't want to turn on the alarm switch, huh? Oh, are there guards in the hangar entrance? Oh, it's a whole new zone. Yeah, there's probably more in there then. Oh yeah, this is a whole thing. That's odd. Oh my god. I think they heard me. Wow. Go yeah. On. Tough break, I guess. Being stealthy is like impossible with that without that augmentation that makes your steps quieter. Hmm. Maybe I should consider getting that. I don't know. Anyway, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to take out all the security inside of the hangar. <laughs>